master production schedule, MPS, and materials requirement planning or MRP. Key differences with examples. Believe me, this is one of the most repeatedly asked question to me from the students. In this lecture, we are going to study if there is a link and difference between the MPS and MRP. And we will also see some examples and try to see which among these comes first when it comes to production. Before starting on, I kindly request you to like, share and subscribe so that I can get more motivated to add similar contents and valuable contents in this channel in the future. MRP is basically a software system. Manufacturers need to know what materials may be required, when and at what quantity to produce any particular product and for this they need the MRP. We need the data for ordering and receiving of the materials which we can get or store through the MRP system or MRP1 system. MPS or Master Production Schedule is used to determine when the materials will be used to produce an item. We need to have aggregate planning in place for MPS or Master Production Schedule. Just to give you an overview from my last video, understand aggregate planning as an input of the master production schedule. Suppose we have a project of manufacture of the diesel motor engines of particular capacity for the month of January and February. We have a overall helicopter view plan in the aggregate planning. Keep in mind the aggregate plan must be coordinated with the plans of the sales and marketing departments. This is called aggregate plan and if we uh, divide this into more elaborative form depicting the number of parts to be produced in each week of the month or each uh, model of the motor to be produced, we have the more elaborative master production schedule. So the MPS contains the list of uh, products to be manufactured and also other informations like when they should be completed and delivered and in what quantities. So in short to plan how many materials to order, we go for the MRP or materials requirement planning. And in order to determine when to order that item, we go for the MPS. There are three important inputs for the MRP system and master production schedule is one of them. The other two inputs are inventory status records and the product structure records. So simply put forward, without MPS, which is one of the inputs, the MRP cannot function. MRP reads the MPS for what items are needed and in what quantity and then puts that into a time phase software data management system. Thank you so much for coming this far with me. I hope this session was helpful. To our new viewers and subscribers, let me remind you to check out the resources in the description uh, regarding project management and production management and control. And also like, share and subscribe so that I can get more motivated to add similar uh, contents in this channel in the future. Thank you so much.